Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy August! Today is August 1st. I cannot believe we're in our last four weeks of winter. I'm so excited. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a morning, my winter morning routine because I haven't posted one yet. I posted my winter night routine video but I haven't done a morning routine. And as well as kind of like an August reset kind of thing. I do a few things when it's like the first day of a new month. So I do financial stuff and as well as social media stuff. So I do a few TikToks to say it's a new month and a new everything and as well guys today is my hair wash day so we're gonna do that today as well look at it and as well i might give my room a tidy up and maybe focus on some editing because i have two videos i need to get out of the way like they need to be out of the way so then i can focus on this one and then guys next month a new series I cannot believe next month will be a new series of spring to summer. I love that series so much. And then soon be enough, it'll be Christmas. But anyways, let's start today's video. So it's currently 10.13 right now and I'm going to go get breakfast and start the day right. But I think first we should write out a little to-do list. My diary. This is my diary. I got it from Typo. And I think I will be repurchasing this again for 2025. I can't believe I'm saying 2025. We've got what? Four more months of 2024. That's weird to me. All right, and this pen is also from Typo. I don't really like it. Only thing is because it keeps, keeps backing out. Like every time I write, it's like the ink goes away. And it's like I have to really do. So let's do a to-do list. So you might be wondering why are you oiling your hair? So I've been doing this probably since May this year. So as you may have seen in my city shopping vlog, I went to go buy this hair oil and I've been using it before I wash my hair. And I've found probably the biggest benefit that I have found is my scalp doesn't itch. I'm pretty sure my scalp's like sensitive or it gets like just itchy but ever since using it i have not really been itching my head lately like it helps so this is the hair oil it is from the body shop and doesn't really cost that much it's actually really good so i'm gonna just show you guys what i do on like just one side of my head it's really easy and if you've got curly hair i definitely recommend this product because it will save your game so i'm gonna take a hairbrush and i know anyone with curly hair is gonna go out at me for brushing your hair dry but you have to brush your hair dry to put the oil in and that's what i have to do i have to brush my hair so the oil can get in easily the one thing i don't like about this oil is the smell but again it's got some really good benefits and i just do that take chunks of hair and just do that to make sure all the hair is fully brushed out and this is what it looks like <laughs> this is why i tell people that i don't brush my hair dry because it comes out like this i'm going to take the hair oil this is coconut oil and i go gradually at a time so the first hair oil we're going to do from the bottom to the middle portion i'm going to give you guys kind of like an update on how my driving has been going since getting my license nearly three weeks ago tomorrow it'll be three weeks since i've had my license so i'm taking it really like slow with the whole driving by yourself thing i have taken it quite slow because really like realistically red pea players have more really, like a higher chance of getting into car accidents so i am just taking the slow approach like slow and steady wins the race so i've been like going driving by myself like on the weekends like just driving around the streets like last weekend i practiced like parking by myself like i know how to reverse parallel park like to a curb and i know how to parallel park but like general like parking in say like a shopping center 
container. I'm stuffed at doing that. So I don't do that unless I am physically assisted. One of my goals for this month for August is to try and drive to like my nearest shopping center. Like probably my closest one is IGA. That's like the closest. But we don't really shop there as much. Otherwise the second one is Woolworths and it's kind of not that far, but it's worth a challenge. So I'm gonna try and attempt to do that for this month just to make it a habit that I can drive by myself to say like the shops if they need me wanting me to go but yeah that's an update I don't have a car as of yeah that's next year but yeah stay tuned for that but yeah and then otherwise I've been just driving to the gym by myself with my sister and that's been fun but yeah so after I've raced my scalp I just go in and like massage it like that so after I've done that I just brush it out it's still frizzy and I do need to give myself a bit of a trimmy trim because it's a bit uneven since I gave myself a last haircut. <laughs> like I did a horrible job, which I'm going to just let my top pieces, the ones that are really short, grow out more. Like I'm not going to give my haircut. And then now I just do an overall grease. So like grease the outside and my scalp too. And then now I would put it into a bun, do the other side. And that is my greasing hair kind of routine thingy. I am gonna put this up, do the other side of camera, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just had breakfast. Well, I had breakfast maybe a couple of hours or less ago, but I did have like a little bit of yogurt and granola. That's like my most favorite thing to have with yogurt is granola. Now, I struggle eating yogurt. Like I don't really have that much yogurt, but I probably need to start having more yogurt because I get these white spots on my fingernails. Like I get these white spots on my fingernails. So it kind of reminds me to have some yogurt when I need to. But anyways, it is a nice sunny August. Glad the sun's out. But now we're going to start tidying up my room because it's a bit of a mess. Oh yeah, don't mind this nail. I did my first PR video. I did it with Australian Glow. So make sure you check out that video. And if you are wanting to shop their brand, you can use my code Drianna GC for 15% off your order. So make sure you go grab some. They're just so good. And yeah, I think my tan faded. I think. I'm going to start tidying up my room. Because it is messy. It's messy, so let's do that first. do social media wise for a new month reset is I post a kind of like a photo dump of my month of July. I feel like ever since I posted that PR video it's gotten like no attention whatsoever but so another thing I do that song from TikTok wake up it's the first of the month I do that as well but I'm not in the best outfit to do it so I might do it a bit later otherwise financially I do this I gotta say every single month basically on the first day of the new month 
So I've been tracking my financial spendings because I do spend quite a lot of money. But I track it on Notion. I have a like template. I don't really want to show you guys my template just because it's got like money wise, like how much I've spent. I can like tell you guys so you can visualize it. I don't know if that really makes sense. But I actually like doing it because it actually puts me into saving goals mode so that, you know, I know what I'm like roughly spending. So I list all the months from January to December of 2024. I do how much I saved as well as my retail and personal spendings, my food and beverage spending, my entertainment at home and property spending, income, deposits, withdrawals and transfers, transport and travel and then my total spendings. So I do that all through my banking app. I feel like everyone should be getting into the mood of like tracking their spendings because things have gone up lately. It is not good at all. Like ever since COVID, it's been a mess. Anyways, I'm going to do that right now and then tell you guys where I need improving. So I'll be right back in doing that. Alrighty, so I did that and it actually took me like less than a couple of minutes. Like I go through my banking app, go through like all the different categories, seeing how much I spent throughout the month. And let me tell you guys, I spent a bit more in July in like my retail and personal spending. I spent about maybe a bit more than $400 more than June. And then fruit and beverage, I don't mind paying for food like I don't mind buying food and then for like entertainment at home it comes under nothing it's more when I buy from like JB Hi-Fi and stuff it comes under that and then I gotta say my total spendings have gone up by $100 so I'm gonna try and cut down my retail spendings in total try and cut it down because I need to save up for my car I need to like cut down on my spendings. Oh yeah, I have made some progress in my savings. I've made some legitimate progress. So yeah, it's 12.30 right now. I don't know if I should go have a shower now or maybe get some editing done. It's so hot. I feel hot in my room. But yeah, I'm going to check some stuff off my to-do list. All right, so I did my room. We oiled my hair, made my bed. Now I just have to shower and edit. I might edit for a little bit. Then I'll show you guys what video I'm basically working on. Oh, and as well, I've been kind of encouraging myself to wear my reading glasses because now that i'm not at school i don't even hardly touch my glasses anymore all right so i've been working on my peace test vlog i like just started the fun editing stage and i've been lacking a lot in my editing i think it's because like work has kind of taken over and then plus trying to find the time and just like the energy just to like say all right i'm gonna do at least half an hour of editing i even have to put a timer on to like get my head in action like alrighty you're gonna do half an hour of editing and that's it I even do it sometimes when I have to clean my rooms like when I can't be bothered to clean my room but I have to clean my room I put a timer on because it gets me in that mood to edit so I think I'm gonna do that and I'll show you guys which ones I use to get myself in editing mode I just look up I can't really see it but aura timer and I use the half an hour one I use this one and it's just so good so I'm gonna do that edit for half an hour so see how that goes and I'll show you guys where I get up to after half an hour This is where I got up to. I basically finished the intro, finished chapter one. So my plan for this video is to kind of make them into chapters. So then even on YouTube when I have to post it, I'll do like those little chapter marks. So I finished chapter one, which was doing the hazards test. And I was just up to doing chapter two, which was booking the driving test. But anyways, it is currently 104. And I'm going to give my laptop a bit of a break because it is kind of warm. So I'm going to kind of scroll on my face for a bit and then maybe have a shower and wash my hair and then maybe work on a thumbnail for this video that i'm working on right now hoping it'll be up maybe within the next week or so if i keep doing what i'm doing it will be super but yeah, i'm gonna kind of relax then as well charge this camera as well because it's kind of running flat but yeah i will see you guys then when i next film <laughs>
yes, this is the aftermath. I am going out with my cousin to do some baby shower shopping. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little like tea. So, oversized tea is from Glassons. Glassons. Hi. And then my bag's from White Fox. And then my jumper is from Alita 11. I just got this recently and it's dark green and I can't tell if this is pink or white. But. So I hope you enjoyed today's winter morning routine slash new month reset. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Comment down below. This emoji if you say it all the way at the end of this video. And yeah. Bye guys. Peace out.